Alright, kind of a first thaw day in quite a while. It's actually kind of pleasant, you know, 40. <laughs> yeah. Some kind of reasonable number. Uh, anyway, uh, video. Uh, it's all so discouraging, videoing lately. Conversation's just kind of nothing. But it does put you in the, you know, do something more kind of mood, which is good. So the painting stuff's been sort of interesting. So that's good. Um, but, you know, obviously that doesn't do much for the, uh, the momentum, the movement, in terms of the philosophical content, I guess. Although I think the content was pretty good in my last couple of videos. Um, you know, they're long videos. They're not, uh, you know, they're not the finished artistic product. They're kind of, uh, you know, preliminary, <laughs> working your way up to it kind of thing. The uh, making of. And I guess that's what a lot of this YouTube is doing. It's kind of the making of a philosophy. The making of a message. Uh, the, the breaking and the making. The breaking. You're going over it. And, refining it, distilling it into something. Um, but obviously, unlike a painting, your, your work isn't, uh, doesn't get, there's no thing that you can just hold up and say, see, look, it's getting better. It's the thing is, the creation is inside your brain as a composition of some sort. Uh, you know, some some distilled understanding, let's say. And uh, that's not necessarily something that's going to be, you know, conducive to a, what would be called a finished product. So it is very different, you know, building a, a mind, and, you know, painting a painting, and not the same. Can't be analogized in that sense. So there's a an analogy to practicing and an analogy to refinement, but there really isn't a analogy that goes any further. So, why do you need to know that? Probably a reason. Uh, no, no, I guess the point I would make is that uh, it's time to do maybe the making of the finished product. Uh, you know, the making of some sort of documentary, some sort of uh, movie, some sort of story, some sort of uh, content statement, some sort of final refinement, uh, you know, that says all that needs to be said, says it in some way that's just too perfect. Too, too good to be resisted. The reasonableness is too compelling. You present the, it's like presenting evidence in a case, I suppose. Might be a nice way to metaphor it, or that might be a nice finished product. Would be a trial or something. You have a trial, a movie trial, some sort of dramatic story, and somehow the, you know, wrapped in that trial story is the story of life on earth uh, you know some way to put you know god on trial um, i think there has been movies that have touched on that a little bit but it was more about somebody justifying themselves than justifying playing the role of god on trial uh, so that might be a nice movie theme God on trial. Maybe I'll try that one. So that'll be one creative project, one painting, uh, and then maybe another style of, uh, or another um, piece of art. Uh, you know, the science to have fiction themes are compelling. I could not that God wouldn't be a science fiction theme. <laughs> yeah, it sort of would be. Uh, you know, the capturing of God for a trial. That 
certainly be science fiction of some kind, right? You'd need special containers and, you know, <laughs> to hold the imaginary character. Yeah, you know, the handcuffs that can, you know, restrain the imaginary figment of people's imagination. Um, figment of their desperate propagandist hopes and wishes. Uh, desperate hatred, even. It's mostly what religion is. It's a petty bigotry. <sighs> My team good, your team bad. Your brain shit. It's more like it. Um, so anyway. Uh, so what was I? Oh yeah. Themes. So... I don't know about this warming weather thing, whether this is going to be good or bad for me getting across the stream. But we'll see what happens. If only you don't. Right. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, sorry. Sorry. What am I sorry for? Sniffling, maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think I'd apologize for that again. But you never know. The water level is still low. I'm surprised. You really can't see that. There's really no point in showing it to you, but the water is a good deal below the ice level. Uh, in most areas, anyway. Which, uh, you know, is sort of problematic for crossing the ice, as it is. Ah, you can see it here as it's beginning to collapse. So you can see that's quite a drop to the water from where the ice was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like some animal made that break. There's some hopping animal. Really big hops though. Hmm. A giant kangaroo rabbit or something. It's funny, I don't know. No kangaroos here. It looks like some sort of kangaroo prints. If the kangaroo was to have prints that I would recognize. You know, about six feet between them. Pump of four prints every six feet. Sounds like a kangaroo. A dog a leaping. Yeah, so the water's gotten to the surface of the ice here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this is where I cross. Let's we'll see what happens. Ooh, looks kind of iffy. <laughs> yeah, there's an iffy spot right next to where I'm crossing. Oh dear. Woe is me, as they say. Yeah, it does sound a little ho ho. That's only about an inch of ice there. But it feels a little firm. There's a rock here, so I know I'm sort of safe. So the iffy part is right there in the middle. Some little critters made it. Little critters made it. Maybe a big critter can make it. Oh, it cracked. But I made it. I have to go back across, which is not as bad, just in case if I do fall in, it shouldn't be too horrific because, you know, I'll be halfway home. So I shouldn't be able to die in that amount of time, especially in the balmy weather. Ooh, dog prints on my path. I don't never like that. Dog's following me, <laughs> hunting me down. Bastards. Uh, um, where was I? Oh, it's feeling like shit is what I was doing. Actually, we're still there. Alright, anyway. Now I want to drag this out. This is just sort of a. Yeah, let's try to do something a little bit creative, I suppose. Work on that. See how far I get and such in terms of uh, 
the making of. Maybe I'll make videos dedicated to storylines that, uh, you know, say something and uh, people can make contributions as they care to in terms of the storyline, which may or may not be a usefully functional way to approach this. Uh, yeah, it might work. It's possible that uh, you know, we together can accomplish something in terms of telling a story within a story. That's sort of the game, right? You have to... The story itself, people don't want to hear. But if you have a good story inside the story, then people won't want to hear it. And in the end, it always comes down to who, who, who you know, what actors you get to play the parts, right? I don't need to step in that water. I mean, that ice. That might get me wet. <sighs> yeah, the buzzards or whatever really took care of the, the deer. Ate up every little bit. I mean, every little bit of it. Ooh, they even went after the skull now. Yuck. Yeah, the skull was kind of untouched before. Uh, some little critter got hungry enough to eat the fur, I guess. So anyway, I don't think it was a dog. It's any broken. It must be a raccoon or something, maybe. I would guess, or something like that. So anyway. My typical complaint. Ah, the leg bone is still here. Not pleasant. <laughs> this really is charming as fuck, right? Uh, yeah, so I think I'll make some videos called. Yeah, I'll have to come up with a title. I'll have to think about that. Uh, you know. What did I call it before? I called this something. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, this. Uh, damn, I can't come. I can't f remember that phrase. You know, the idea of making something. Uh, the making of. Yeah, there you go. The making of. So I'll make some the making of videos, where I maybe will experiment with writing a screenplay of sort uh, in video form and uh, see how that goes yeah all right you know refine it and refine it do the same thing like painting fix it break it fix it break it something like that anyway until next time such so forth and whatnot